There's a, there's the act is the software you buy the software. There's a fee for the email marketing and it's tiered. So as your business grows, you can you can uh, you know sit there and upgrade your your thing. But what I liked is it wasn't in two different places. Do you know how frustrating that was for yeah. me? What's nice too is everybody knows about the spam laws. You can get in big trouble. All right, and you can get blacklisted if you're sending it through your straight Outlook. Your internet provider can blacklist you, and you can lose your service. They won't let you send email through there if you get reported. What's nice about this is I send the group over, and anybody that's suppressed, it takes care of it. So I can have them in my group, but they won't get an email because they put Swift Page knows I'm not supposed to send to them. Right. So they'll say how many was submitted. How many bounced, how many were suppressed, and how many actually went out. Then I can sit there and look at my clicks and opens. Uh-oh. Okay. Clicks and, clicks and opens, and we can sit there and actually see who's effective. Uh, Melanie's helping me as my sales coach, and she sat there and said, let me see the results. And we saw somebody opened it, fit, forwarded it 53 times. She's like, call this person. Wow. Yeah, that's okay. Good to know. Yeah. All right. I called them. I might be doing work for their consortium. Yes. Okay? Now, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know. Yeah. Okay? That might end up being a long-term gig for me. Fantastic. All from checking who opened my email. All right? Here's my calendar. Uh, why there's lines through stuff means it's done. This is what's great. It's integrated. So any, any kind of phone uh, call that I'm making, any kind of appointment that I'm making is all tied back to the person. I have a complete total history. All the notes of my phone calls, everything, all in one place. Did you use, use Outlook before? Did you use Outlook? I, I used Business Contact Manager that was built into Outlook. I have a database background. I never used just Outlook because oh. Outlook is an email system, a contact manager. It's as not a, a CRM. As a summary, Outlook is one of the absolute worst CRMs on oh, earth. Yes. It is, it is, one, it is one of the worst Yep. Email clients on Earth. So uh, the, the thing that with that though is it is integrated with Office. It is integrated with Office. So there is things where you can attach your emails. It'll attach the email. The nice thing about this too is that you don't have to keep the email. It'll keep the content of the email. You delete the email, but it keeps a record of the content of the email. And the links stay live. So if I send somebody a link, I can scroll down to the email I sent them, go, go over here, click on the link and go where I want it to go. And the email's gone. It's gone. No longer exists. It's gone. And if I had to, I could copy and, and paste that back into another, you know, into yeah, another message. Like document or something. Yeah. All right. Here is a bunch of different products. Difference between a contact manager, Outlook's contact manager. All right, the CRM is where it's a tool, where you're actually going to use it to track things, to communicate for marketing, for sales, and for customer service. You want it to do all three. Yeah, it's a so, gold mine. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Do you use free CRM and app? No, 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 no. I was just showing everybody one of the free ones. Okay. Uh, no, I use Act. I like Act because. Uh, the databases I've used in the past, it is very similar, and there was no learning curve for me. All I had to do was spend about an hour screwing around with it, and I was ready to rock and roll. I also have clients that use ACT, so I was familiar with what it was able to do. So it was a no-brainer for me, and I own my data, unlike Salesforce. If you notice, Salesforce is not up here. I just wanted to say, I happen to have Goldmine because I'm familiar with the manufacturer of it from another product, so I, I knew a retailer in the area who sold that product. I use it. I use a lot of the features, but I'm underutilizing it, which is another thing like underutilizing a person. So most of us, from my perspective, most, most of us generally learn new products on a need-to-know basis. And what's great about Cindy is that she'll take something and she'll destroy everything it does and turn it upside down in its head and really rip out the features and she makes use of everything. So if she knew Goldmine, I'd be picking her brain because I don't want to go to another product. But, but I could see the thing with having the database yeah. background that I do have, I'm very fortunate. They all work the same. All you got to do is figure out how it organizes the data and how it communicates with other programs. Once you figure that out, you can use any. Right. I can give me, 
I have every client I've gone into has a different system. All I have to do is do the training videos and I'm ready to rock and roll. I said, they, they, they pay me to watch the training videos and I'll tell you how we're going to use this thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It really. And the bookkeeping. And Rochelle can, like can, that, yeah. can verify for this. You cannot control the financial health of your organization if you don't have a bookkeeping system. Mm -hmm. And you really need to have an electronic one so that you can run those reports, so that you can get a clear picture of what is happening in your business to do comparison of your vendors. Do you, how do you know if you're getting a good price? If you don't have a way of looking at your vendors, if you don't have a way of seeing when do you get money coming in, who is your top 20% of your clients that you're going to do all that marketing and branding to that we heard about, right? How do you know? So what do you recommend for bookkeeping? I use QuickBooks. There's QuickBooks and Peachtree, and Michelle can, can vouch for this one. Peachtree is for people who know accounting. If you don't know accounting, Peachtree is a nightmare. The thing with QuickBooks, a lot of stuff works with QuickBooks, a lot of stuff will integrate with QuickBooks, but you should have a bookkeeper or your accountant review your QuickBooks file because as good as they've set it up, you're bound to categorize something wrong. Do not set up your QuickBooks yourself. No, no, no. Have your bookkeeper or accountant. It asks you all these questions when you stick the CD in or you will run the install that you don't know the answer to. I paid some Paul Raffanello to come to my office and I didn't take it out of the box. I put it in his hand and said, sat next to him and said, here you go. <laughs> Okay? Because I knew I didn't have the right answers for this thing to set up the chart of accounts and everything else the way it's supposed to be set up. A bookkeeper, a, a competent bookkeeper, or an accountant should set that up for you. And here was, and fresh books down the bottom, sorry about being like, but it's live link. Fresh, fresh books is a, a billing service. It's not a bookkeeping service, but if you have recurring billing, fresh books doesn't, it's automated. Okay. I want to get you guys out. So, very good. Care.